quickly like in a smaller... Okay, what we're doing here is we're going to show you uh, and demonstrate touching an implant with the electrosurge and how dangerous it all is. What I have here is something that's exactly like an implant. It's a carbide burr. It has little flutes on it like an implant has flutes. We're going to set that burr in some living tissue here, just like this. Now you can imagine that this is an implant in the bone sitting in electrolytes. Over here, as you can see, there's my electrosurge, and when I step on the gas, the orange light comes on, which means this tip is active. Now if I touch myself with it, you can see the smoke coming up. Now to make sure I got this boot on. Okay, it's on. We're, we're making smoke. You can see the smoke coming off my hand there. Now we're going to touch the implant. You can see the sparks. See the sparks on there? Now I'm holding this implant in my hand. I'm waiting for it to burn the heck out of me and actually ruin it and cause major, major problems. And this thing's turned way up as high as it can go. And how long am I holding on here? Well, I'm not holding on there very long. So this is really dangerous. As you can see, my hand is really damaged and I have been burnt badly by the electrode, and the electrode's heated up to, what a bunch of nonsense. Unipolar electrosurgery around implants is virtually impossible to do damage with it. Now, you can do damage by doing what I did here, which is smoking the tissue around an implant, but that's different than touching the implant with the electrosurgeon, it turns.